just wanted to show off my machine with uh, with my LED bling lights on here. Because um, if you're like me and you work at night in the garage, you can't really tell how bright they are, but it bright, brightens up your, your work area. And all I did was buy uh, waterproof LED lights, and then I power them. I'm powering them with a uh, a 12 volt, 2 amp uh, plug that's plugged in over here. So, and I got light lights that work. Oh yeah, I also use the Xbox controller. It's a little loud because I got my other machine running over here, but I'll do a demo real quick on So you just see the lights travel along the uh, the rails there. And it gives, at, at night, when I'm in the garage, it lights up this whole area here, which is really nice. I got the idea from somebody else. I saw somebody else do it a while ago. And uh, we use a lot of those LED lights. But these are waterproof LED lights. There's like a silicone gel coating on top of them. It's hard to see how bright they are, but if it was dark in here, here, I'll shut the garage door. I could see how, how bright they are. It's, it's more, more glary in the video, but while I'm looking at it, it's nice and clear in here. And you can see from my T-Tracks, I just milled out I just milled out the T-Track space here and put the track in there. So that's it. That's my little bling LED uh, upgrade on my machine. And I'm also using the UC100. And I had an issue UC100 and the newer Mach 3. I'll explain that later. Well, that's it. Going through some squares and circle toolpaths. This way I can work at night and I don't have to have the overhead lights on. Of course I had the, the feed rate and rapids turned up just for these dry runs that I'm doing. So 
but um, I've been testing out the new rails to work out the kinks, just, you know, get it smooth. And uh, this table is 48 by 41 workspace. I can see it. I think it's somewhere around six or seven hundred, something like that. Just doing circles and squares. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching.